more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Fly, Eagles, fly. Listen, Nagobi Dean. Listen, what did I call that man back when I covered him at the University of Georgia? The hall monitor. There's no running on the hall monitor. I don't know what people don't understand about that, right? It's been that way since day one with this dude. Check this out right here. What I was trying to tell people. So I forget the dude's name, but he was talking about a smaller linebacker not being able to survive in an odd front alignment. So you see this right here. This has odd front principles coming out of this even front alignment, right? So this would pretty much just be their nickel base, right? You can very well see Josh Sweat up on his feet. It's about what's going on here on the inside. If you're able to align someone in the gap like they do Fletcher Cox here, right? He's almost like a tilted three technique. <laughs> hey, almost like a tilted three technique to force two players to have attention to him. So if you get that double right there, and then you have, it looks like Jordan Davis, right? Same deal right here. Uh, you can force multiple people to pay attention. All you have to do is align him behind somebody like that, and he's able to roam free. Uh, right here on Cunningham, he there is an uncovered guard there. So he needs to be the one that you would put over the guard and have him uh, fight through traffic there. But if you see right here, you keep Nicole Dean clean, Cole Dean clean, look at him approach. No running on the hall monitor. Now listen, some of you dudes was actual hall, hall monitors back in the day and you was pissing me off, you know what I mean? You had, boy, you had the boy power walk, <laughs> power walk in the class and shit because you told me I couldn't run you was going to snitch and shit like that. I'm trying to talk to the chick about the locking and shit. I'm a little late. I ain't going to lie, but come on, man. You can't even have a brother power walking. They're going to have to start power walking on your boy in the Kobe Dean here. You see right here? Right? You get the doubles at the point of attack. You see the uh, guard right here, he's climbing on Zach Cunningham. You scheme that up to keep this man clean, what's going to happen? You see everybody else soloed off, soloed off. Even Hassan Reddick here, South Jersey's own, my man's right there singled up with a tight end. You keep him clean, he gets you that ring. Look at that. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Kobe Dean. Similar deal right here. This time you have Jordan Davis. He's at a three technique. You have Fletcher Cox at that two eye. So they're meant to top, tie up multiple blockers. You get Zeke here on this flat motion, and uh, you're pretty much going to get a gap scheme here with a puller. So they're going to be pulling the opposite side guard here and leading Josh Sweat here to a trap. So that ends up working out in the favor. He ends up keeping contained. Then you can see the slice by Nicobe Dean here. Now watch his patience. Right, you'll see everyone ship o shift over, right, with that motion. You have to, everyone have to shift, shift over with the gap. We'll let it run. Everyone ship over with the gap, and then look at him stick his foot in the ground and make a decision. All gaps covered. That's how you get that good run defense. That was a stickling point or a stickler point for your boy here was how to improve that run game. So it's only one game. There's no doubt about that. So being able to take... Uh, definitive declarations and everything like that. It doesn't make sense, right? We need a bigger sample size. I need at least three or four games to really see what's going on. But this is a good start here. See that? Jordan Davis, multiple defenders here. If you were to play it safe, right? Stay patient. Make sure that it's not coming in this gap. He can read the puller here. Puller leading him in that direction there, which is not always the case. But in this case, it is. You see him follow the puller, shoot off that outside hip right there, and take presence in this gap. Exactly how you draw it up. Bang. Look at him. He has a take on a defender, too. So this is a take on situation. Take on a def defender, show presence in that gap, and then look. Almost like how he got that strip fumble in, uh, in the preseason there. But you see right there, no game. And this, I said it before, this is a good rushing outfit. The New England Patriots have... Ramondre Stevenson, who's a monster. We know Ezekiel Elliott, what he can do. And then they had the offensive line built to run, and Philly shut that down in the rain. I need to point out how playing linebacker against multi-tight sets is just a little different. So normally you would align the Kobe Dean on the weak side of the formation, meaning he'd be away from the strength. So this is the strength of the formation here with the tight end. However, you have multiple tight ends over here. Now they're going to motion one to the Kobe Dean's side and balance out the formation. 
So there's not really a strength on this particular formation. It's a balanced formation that has two strengths. So he could have to take on blocks depending on which side that this goes to. But you'll happen to have this guy coming around, right, as a puller. So it's a cross formation trap once again here. Then you get that action on the inside there. And once again, you're tying up multiple blockers. Now you have Jalen Carter in the game with Jordan Davis and Milton Williams right there. So you're, you're really in your 3 4 drawing right here. However, listen, there was somebody was in here talking about some slide protection type shit. They, it's like he was, you listen to people who ain't never played football before and you run with shit as the gospel. Depending on where you line somebody up at and their blocking scheme, that person can get multiple blockers. Like right here, Milton Williams, he actually gets three people blocking him because of their blocking scheme on this particular play right here. So uh, this could be a play action. This could be all kinds of different things and, and, and stuff will go on there. But you get Jordan Davis this time soloed up. Same deal with uh, Jalen Carter here. So keeping him clean. That's the name of the game. And watch this. See that action? He's clean. He's clean. Oh, look at him. Approach, sift, and strike. I want you to look at the lateral movement, which he works with, right? He's very sound in his technique. He's fundamentally sound there. He shows presence and then starts to laterally walk his way into a gap. You see that right there? Now, look, Milton Williams, three guys on him right here until they until the one tries to come. Actually, they don't combo up right there. So just three guys on him. So you know he's going to be kept clean right here. Jordan Davis. He choke slamming a man, got him all hemmed up by a shirt lapel. Jalen Carter way out here working wide. And you see Nicobe Dean kept clean. And of course, he's going to meet that head on the outside right there. You're not going nowhere. Do you have your pass on you? The hall monitor wants to know. You could be asking them questions. You know, damn well. I'm like, man, bro, you know I ain't got no pass on me, man. Don't be asking me questions you already know the answer to. <laughs> Come on. All right, so those bunch. Formations were killing us downfield, but uh, you trying to get that shit out to the perimeter, shoot it out to the perimeter against the Kobe Dean here out in space. You talk about sideline to sideline. He's that he's showing you that he can work and take on situations and approaching the line of scrimmage. His guy is just a complete backer. So watch him work this. I right, immediately diagnose here and look at him path to least resistance, taking that straight aim right there. We'll see it from this side here, shooting that bad boy out, working inside out so you have to give credit to slay here keeping that on the inside and he stays with that inside presence and tries to force it back outside there boom to the waiting arms of him and justin evans right there come on i gotta see that again got an id as well million williams jalen carter reddick sweat here quick action Working inside in. Sometimes you just have to be able to do your job. Avante Maddox right here on the standstill. Slay is what really makes this play happen. Then you have that sideline to sideline skills. I love how he breaks down and then strikes. You got to be doing that in these days. You got to be doing that, period. Like breaking down and then strike. Bring your pads. Now, someone had mentioned to me about Nicobe Dean being dope in pass coverage. That's not something that I witnessed covering him game after game, every single game when he was there at the University of Georgia. I thought he was okay in coverage. Uh, not one of these covers linebackers, so I would like to see him improve in that aspect there. Uh, but you can see him going against my man Gesicki here, right? From out in Central Jersey. Mike Gesicki, former Penn State tight end. We have Kobe Dean working inside out on this, right? So it ends up going for a gainer. It's not a big gainer because he does close the distance very well on this, but having him step and then cover, you can see right there he's out in no man's land because he still has the linebacker instincts. I wish they would have got a better angle on this one right here, but staying in his hip pocket right here, you see him still looking at the quarterback. If you're in man coverage, you're looking at your man. You're in combo coverage or zone coverage, then that's when you pay attention to both the man and the QB. But on this one right here, you can't be frozen in time, still looking at Mac Jones, wondering if he's going to scramble. You have to trust that someone like Cunningham will be able to get Mac Jones there because that's what he's there for. You're in man coverage. So he stops. He probably could have had the coverage on this one. But, of course, he's going to run you down anyway. It <laughs> don't matter. He'll let you catch it, but you ain't running because there's no running in the halls. 
right, listen, I know I should have probably mentioned this before. I know he got injured. He's going to miss a few weeks or whatever like that. So all the Captain Obvious people, if you don't say something right away, they'd be like, hey, man, you know he's injured, right? Yes, Cletus, I know he's injured, right? So, but beyond that, I wanted to highlight and show exactly what this guy could mean to this defense. And he could be one of the linchpins or pilots of a really good rushing defense. Now, this is what I want to see happen moving forward, though. I want to see a big dime package, right? Instead of bringing in uh, your, your, your fifth cornerback or your, your sixth defensive back, as far as a cornerback goes, you would bring in Terrell Edmonds here, right? Three safety sets. That's what I want to see right here. So normally in these situations that we're talking about the past, you put Terrell Edmonds there, have him cover tight ends and man coverage. That's better than the Kobe Dean covering a tight end. That's better than Zach Cunningham covering a tight end. It just is, right? He's 6'1", 220 pounds with 4'4 four, four speed. He's a freak athlete. He needs to be put down in the box to man cover against tight ends, or he needs to sniff the box and work against the run here. So when they started doing this at the end of the game, this is definitely something that I, I, I wanted to see happen, and it actually happened, right? So I hey, have him there. Obviously, we would prefer it to be – your man Reed Dollars, right? Reed Blankenship and Sidney Brown out there with Terrell Edmonds. But I thought Justin Evans played fine as well. But of course, if you're not Sidney Brown, people are going to say you didn't you didn't play fine, right? They're not gonna give you that right there. If you can see right here though, Terrell Edmonds be flying around the field. He don't care. This is how J B ended up getting that concussion right there. Right? Right on here. Bang. J B was sleep sleep. So uh, man flying around the field. Hopefully, James Bradbury get well soon, man. He had a tough game as well there, but I don't know what to tell you, man. Your boy, Nicobe Dean, when healthy, will be that dude. In no uncertain terms, the guy can play football. If you're talking about his size, which doesn't make sense, as I name people all up and down uh, football, whether it be a Levante David, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, all these guys are the same size as N'Kobe Dean. Some of these dudes like uh, Nick Bolton, these are the top linebackers in the game, and they're all pretty much 228 to 232 pounds or something like that, right? It's long gone are the 250-pound, 6'4 linebackers. These guys are 5'11", like 230. They're just a bunch of former running backs like myself who was converted to linebacker safety and, and shit like that, so... That's where the game has gone, and that's just is what it is, I right? But you know what is what it is? You guys sharing. Make sure you're sharing the content, man. Make sure you're spreading this around. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed. And make sure you keep repping out there, baby. Shout-outs to the entire South Jersey, right? Burlington County, Cumberland County, Sewell, New Jersey, right? Camden, uh... Everybody, man, the entire Philly, all of Delaware, at least the metropolitan part, right? Wilmington, Christiana, Newark, Claymont, places like that. Newcastle. Let's get it, all right? <clears throat> what more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.